Good evening. How are you, my decorating friends, on this first day of February 2023? I thought I would come on and talk to you guys a little bit because I've been receiving a lot of questions um, via my PM asking about how I came to love Afro Bohemian decorating and how I pulled things together in my house to transform my style and look from what I previously had displayed. I had a friend of mine that said, I never saw anybody pull together a look as fast as you did because you were like completely adoring another decorating style and then you switched over and you said Afro Boho and your house just went boom. Well, I I always have always said this. It's your home. You decorate it the way you want to. You pick whatever style you choose. If you want to mix styles, fine. You want one flat style, fine. It's your space. You you create the look in your space that you desire to see every day that makes you feel warm and happy. And that's all I did. I used to be a farmhouse country decorator and that was fine for the season that it had. And now I love the Afro Bohemian style. And I just started researching to a degree um, how different people were decorating and then I pulled that in with my own vision and just started picking up pieces here and there creating corners in my home and displaying things that I love to see art um, figurines uh, different patterns and textures it's, it's what you want. And my candlelight just went out. Hold on. Okay, don't laugh. I am a candle girl. I have candles all over the place because I love the warmth and the glow, especially at night. Now, getting back to what I was saying, art is what I started with. I love this picture. And when I received it, it's like I use that as my inspiration and backdrop. My color choices came from this picture. Um, gray, black, white, gold. I started picking up wood pieces. I, I had already loved wood pieces. And I just started filling my home with things. I looked online via Amazon, Etsy, home goods I look for things, Ross I've looked and found things, TJ Maxx, online, offline, you gotta look, you have to have patience, but you'll be able to pull it together, you just get your vision board, make your list, write down what you want to see, and then start looking for it. Just like these three ladies here. Oh my goodness. I was so happy the day they arrived to my house. Because I had been wanting them a long time. But their price was a little elevated. And I happened to um, find them at a real reasonable price. And they came quick. And I have been happy with them in that corner. Just like when I found this wall. This um, long length mirror. I wanted one in my living room. I saw the decal of the, the two girls, because there's two that came on Amazon in a set. Didn't want to put her on my wall, so I adhered her to the mirror, and I love it just the same. Pillow covers. Oh, my goodness. There's the black and white. There are the candles. Plants and stone um, vases. And um, jugs. I had so much stuff from a long time ago that I really lost in my last move. And um, I think about those things. This was before I even started decorating Afro Boho. And 
but you'll find new things. Don't worry about things you've lost or you don't have anymore. Just look. You'll find some new things. Basket wall on the wall above the radiator. I love that. I started Ross. You can find the girls. You just have to look. Um, I love angels. I used to have a, a big collection of angels. I put most of them away, but you'll still see some around. Ross. This girl right here. I love her. She comes in a set of three. Well, it's three different ones. You can buy, buy them individually or all together. And I got her second. I got the other two that I'll show you in a little while first. I love the mud cloth designs. Pillow covers. Amazon. I had these two lights uh, for about two years when I first started to try to go boho. Not afro boho, just boho. Pulled them out. I found him. I love the animals. At an African bazaar. Uh, Amazon and Amazon. I love them. Three motivational signs. Black. That goes with my black and my white. This urn right here. Oh my goodness. These things are expensive. I found that at a thrift store. I still can't believe that it was like $10. With the lid. It was powder blue. I knew it wasn't the color that matched my home. I brought it home. I chalk painted it black. And there it is. This vase in the corner was gray. Why should I go buy a gold one? Because I wanted gold. Spray paint changed it. Changed it for me. Just little accents. I like the pineapple because that's a welcome sign. And then the black and gold was all I needed to see. This girl over here, Amazon. Uh, my TV cabinet. I love black. I remember when I first said, I'm going to do an accent wall. Didn't want to pick a big wall. Wanted to keep it safe. So I went with a small area. Love it. Put my baskets up. My girl over there I got on vacation a couple years ago. She fit perfect there. And um, that's my diffuser. There's some more pictures. I love when I started finding the masks. Uh, Ross. You're going to see a lot of baskets on my wall because I love the baskets. Now here's another gem I found recently. Amazon. I love him. <laughs> and he sits there between the two lamps that a lot of people ask me questions about. That's, they love them. Hold on. I put him here. And then I found the two drums. Amazon. Put them down there just to match up with him. And I found that picture in the back there from, was that Ross? Yes, it was Ross. The bowl, Ross. The filler, Ross. The urn, um, the vase rather. Target. Over here. Let me go over here first. Uh, books. I love books. I have a lot of books now. I started with a few books and then it just went a little crazy. And this is another basket on my wall. Uh, another picture. I love that one. And let me see. Over here on my table. Over here I'm still getting together. So bear with me. And um, I have my table setting. I tried to get some gold napkins this week from Amazon. Didn't like them. So I kept these here. I found this set off of Amazon and I absolutely love it. Black and white and gold. And here's the teapot that matches the gold tray I had years ago I got from Ross. Flowers. I love my flowers. And over there on the table, oh, well actually it's the bench I used to have in the living room. Moved it in the dining room and decorated it with pillows and um, a few African accents. I got my two hats on the wall. I love my, those boho hats. And here's my gold um, drinking 
the, the long stem um, glasses. I love those because I just like that gold and that glass. And that's my bookcase. I'm still trying to figure out the decorating scheme on that. That's my little corner with the basket right there. And these are my curtains. And that's what I put on my radiator. I made the little floral arrangements with the tulips and the girls on either side. And this is my one of my latest purchases from Amazon. Actually, the girl and the table. Well, it's a, a unit. And I put my gold pieces on it and some white pieces. And I love it. And in the corner over there, I got those. These, they're a matching set. The other one is over here. From the same African uh, festival, I got the, uh, what's that? I showed you the giraffe in the other room. Love it, love it, love it. And there's my gold, gold and white, gold, and right there. Okay. And over here, I'm still trying to get this area together. So I'll show it to you when I get it together. But right now, this is basically all that I have together in the dining room. And I try to put little heart accents for um, Valentine's Day, which you will see there and over here. I, I actually have another heart in the other room. Hold on. There's the other heart I have. And I actually ordered a third one, which will be here Monday. And you'll see where I put that. So basically... This is just all that I've done. And I remember when I saw these, the shades, and I was like, I want these for my window. And um, I just started finding things, you know, pictures. And um, never mind my Snoopies. They stay out all the time. I love them. And here's my cabinet where I put my glassware. And books. My books are up there. And there's the other two girls that matches the girl that you saw on the radiator. Don't have the light on over here, but don't worry about that. And um, this is just what you do. You do what you do. You find the things that you want. There's my music corner. When I took the door off my closet and I said, I'm going to paint that. And that's going to be my music and reading nook. And I just love it. There's another heart over there in the corner that's for Valentine's Day or Love Day, Love Month, whatever you want to call it. You know, hey, I have loved hearts all my life, so I used to have a whole bunch of heart accents in here. Not as many now as before, but you will see a few here and there. Get your plants, your hanging plants, your macrame uh, hangers. And this is my only live plant, my blade plant. I love it. Snake plant. Mother's tongue has so many different sayings. There's another love accent down there with the saying. And that's from the Bible. Love is patient and kind. And it doesn't envy, doesn't boast. It's not proud. It doesn't dishonor others. It's not self-seeking, not easily angered, keeps record of no wrongs. Doesn't delight in evil, but rejoices in truths. It protects, it trusts, it hopes, and it always preserves. Love never fails. I love that too. So, it's no rhyme or reason, no blueprint, no ABC of how to decorate. It's whatever your vision is, whatever you like seeing in your home. Um, start looking for it. Online, in stores. Surf stores, yard sales. I am uh, bu budget Betty. I love a deal, a sale, a markdown, a discount. And people would come to my house and say, "You did not get that for five dollars. You did not get that for three dollars. Come on, how much?" Listen, I have been doing it ever since I got grown and moved on my own and had to decorate my own spaces by myself with my own style, my own taste, my own delight. So, with that, and I don't know if you can see my basket wall in the dining room. I meant to show you that, and I didn't. It's above the archway to the kitchen, but listen, just take your time, and um, you'll figure your style out. 
whether it be boho, modern, afro boho, whichever uh, you choose, just start, make a list, search, Pinterest, Instagram, all over the place. But I've talked enough. And um, thanks for the questions that you ask, the PMs that I get, and uh, the support that I get from other decorators who are looking for their niches. And uh, we, we inspire and share with each other. Keep the questions coming. I don't mind them coming via PM. And I'm going to try to keep as many videos coming as I can and share as much with you as I can. And I thank you for stopping by and um, just, I appreciate you all. I'm about to go cook dinner and um, I will see you in my next video. Everybody be blessed and have a wonderful evening on this first day of February, 2023. Take care and God bless you all. And again, thanks for stopping by. Check me out on Instagram under This Girl Loves Decorating. And I have a Facebook group called uh express your style check me out and i also have a blog called walk in creativity and another blog that's entitled this girl loves decorating dot com goes on the end of both of those and you'll find me blessings everybody bye